in previous videos, of the series dedicated to aircraft carrier and LHDs, we show, what the current situation was worldwide. This graph, shows us, by country, a classification by types and class of ship. In a more specific way, let's look at comparative information, on the main models of aircraft carriers and LHDs in the world. Apart from the enormous cost of the American and Russian aircraft carriers, the rest, does not reach 4,000 million euros. It should be noted, the very low cost of the Spanish strategic projection vessel, of the Juan Carlos First Class. Of this great ship, four units have been manufactured, with a unit cost of only 400 million euros. Let's look at other important data, about such large ships. We can end by saying that, there is a tendency, to build what are called pocket carriers. And the existence of airplanes, such as the vertical takeoff F-35B, and the naval F-35C, have strengthened this possibility. But, what do the acronym STOVL, LHD, Cattlebar or AC mean, and what are their differences? In this video, we will clarify all this data, and we will also see, some comparisons of the most modern ships. But, before we start, let's describe the most important elements, in an aircraft carrier. The set of acronyms, refers to the way in which a naval aircraft, can take off and land on an aircraft carrier, or on a helicopter carrier. Therefore, the type, indicates the flight capabilities, that aircraft carriers and helicopter carriers, can develop. Specifically, the cattle bar type, indicates that it is an aircraft carrier that has a catapult system, to help in the takeoff. And a barrier, to help the plane in the landing of the plane, catapult assisted takeoff barrier arrested recovery.
As we can see in the image, these are the only classes of pure cattle bar aircraft carriers currently active in the world. In this cattle bar type, aircraft carriers do not have the usual sky jump system, which we will see in other ships of other classes. That is, only the American and French aircraft carriers are exclusively of this pure cattle bar type. The maximum length of the takeoff runway in a modern aircraft carrier does not reach more than 300 meters in length. Therefore, a naval plane loaded with fuel and ammunition could barely take off in this short space. For example, this F-18 Super Hornet has a maximum takeoff weight of 23,400 kilograms. Remember that, an aircraft like this F-18, due to the demands of operating in a maritime environment, needs to increase its weight by about 500 kilograms more. And let us also know that this F-18, fully armed and loaded with fuel, needs to take off a minimum distance of 1.2 kilometers. Therefore, in cattle bar type aircraft carriers, the naval aircraft is launched by a catapult. It consists of a track built into the flight deck below which is a large piston or shuttle that is attached to the nose gear of the aircraft. This catapult bridle is attached to the aircraft and the catapult shuttle. With this mechanism, in just 100 meters, it is possible to launch an aircraft weighing up to 40 tons. But it also has its drawbacks. The system imposes a huge acceleration on the plane, which causes structural deficiencies and, therefore, a shorter flight life. And it has a percentage of error at launch between 4 to 6 percent. But it has been the usual system on a cattle bar type aircraft carrier. In the image, we see the catapults, four of the Nimitz and Gerald Ford classes, although two of them interrupt the landings when in use. Instead, on the French aircraft carrier Charles de Gaulle, we see only two catapults. For that reasons, the U.S. Navy is developing the use of newest electromagnetic aircraft launch systems, EMALS. This allows an aircraft of up to 45,000 kilograms to be put in the air at a speed of 240 kilometers per hour in less than 100 meters distance. This system was taken into account in the new aircraft carriers of Great Britain, but finally it had to be discarded due to serious problems. The Indian Navy is also developing it and Hopefully, Russian and Chinese aircraft carriers will also implement it in the future. As a curiosity, to say that the cost of an EMALS launcher system is over 400 million euros, what the LHD-1 Carlos I costs. And a serious problem, if an EMALS launcher fails, the other EMALS aircraft carrier systems are out of use at the same time.
a cattle bar type aircraft carrier, also has a landing assistance system. It consists of a succession of up to four braking cables, three in French aircraft carrier, to which the hook that the tailplane has to be attached. Logically, these cables have a certain degree of elasticity to allow a short but smooth braking. 